Upon hearing the mother's order, one of the guards began pointing at Lu Sheng with his finger and gave the order to his subordinates to catch them both. The other guests who were present in the room, some women, others men, began to smile, thinking that they were finished. The guards were also martial artists. They gained momentum, started approaching Lu Sheng, clenched their fists, and prepared to give him a good beating. Lu Sheng didn't even pay attention to them, turned his head to the side and simply started to smile. Once the guards got a little closer, a golden barrier appeared around our boy, which began to expand. Seeing this, the other guards started covering their eyes with their hands so as not to go blind from the brightness. And not long after, the guards who had pounced on Lu Sheng were sent flying and crashed hard against the wall, losing consciousness in a matter of seconds. One of the men wearing a blue suit, despite being far from the reach of the barrier, was also struck and fell to the ground, unable to avoid feeling dizzy, wondering what was happening. Then, another one of the guards who had attacked Lu Sheng fell from the sky, right on top of the man, causing the ground to break and inflicting an intense pain he had never felt before. A man with a ponytail and beard appeared next to a beautiful woman, took a step forward and with a serious expression asked if Lu Sheng was a master. Upon hearing his voice, everyone's attention focused on him. The man closed his eyes, began to show a finger, and with a confident smile explained that this was very interesting. This man was Zhuo Jilin. He had attended this party purely for leisure, and did not expect to find someone as interesting as Lu Sheng. But once he opened his eyes, his gaze filled with surprise. Lu Sheng, who could not stand charlatans, appeared behind him and, with an angry expression, grabbed his arm tightly. Upon feeling this, the confident smile on Zhuo Jilin's face disappeared, and his eyes filled with confusion leaving him speechless. Lu Sheng let go of his arm and gave him a strong kick in the balls, and with a serene expression ordered him to leave. Zhuo Jilin put his hands over his private parts and couldn't help but start crying due to the intense pain. His body was sent flying and landed on top of the guards that Lu Sheng had defeated earlier, and due to the strong impact, they started bleeding from their mouths. Upon witnessing this, the mother's gaze filled with fear and surprise. She placed her hand near her face, began observing Lu Sheng, and couldn't help but feel terror as our boy had instantly defeated a level 6 master, wondering how truly strong he was. She placed her hand over her chest, and without making a sound, she turned her back to our boy, and with an uncertain expression realized why he was so arrogant, thinking it was better to leave here before things heated up. Lu Sheng began observing her and instead of acting, remained silent. One of the guards who had a scar on his face panicked, took a step forward, placed his hand over his chest and with a sincere and furious expression asked if there were more masters in the room willing to fight with them, promising that in return the Chen family would reward them all generously. At the party there were several masters, but they all lowered their heads and their gazes filled with fear since everyone knew they wouldn't be able to do anything against a monster like Lu Sheng. Nobody volunteered. And upon seeing this, the guard's expression changed. He couldn't help but remain in shock and open-mouthed at the same time. He began to sweat upon realizing that no one wanted to fight against Lu Sheng. Our boy started moving his hand toward He Ling Su's arm, asking if she could now see things clearly. He took her hand and began staring at her intently, revealing that this was actually the noble family she had always wanted to join. Upon hearing this, the guard's eyes filled with surprise, leaving him in shock while on the other side. He Ling Su began to gaze at the ground with a lost look and she sank into her thoughts, thinking that maybe he was right. Just before she could make a decision, someone appeared, asking who dared to cause trouble at Chen Jingnan's birthday banquet. Upon hearing this, everyone's attention in the room turned toward the voice, and everyone was surprised while on the other side. Lu Sheng remained as calm as ever. It was old Chen who appeared alongside Jiang He and an army general. The old man began staring intently at Lu Sheng with an angry expression while on the other side Jiang He and the general remained silent. One of the men put his hand under his chin, and his gaze filled with surprise and confusion since no one would have thought that old Chen had connections with the army. Realizing that he was a seven-star general, a prominent figure in the military hierarchy, the man next to him turned his head back, started observing them, and couldn't help but feel somewhat surprised. He mentioned that old Chen also had a connection with Jiang He, the vice president of the Martial Arts Association of Jindu Province, a great level 8 master recognized for a long time. Upon seeing Chen, the guards couldn't help but start smiling. The guard who had a scar on his face began pointing at Lu Sheng with his finger and said confidently with a smile that he was finished. Our boy began to observe the guard with a calm expression and remained silent. Lu Sheng's gaze fixed on Jiang He, and his eyes filled with seriousness as he remembered that back then, 
The martial arts tournament had been organized by him. He did not expect to encounter this guy here. He Ling Su panicked, and with a look full of fear, she grabbed Lu Shang by the clothes, advising him to hurry up and leave, he should take advantage of their lack of reaction and escape immediately. But far from paying attention to her, as was obvious, Lu Shang remained firm, began to gaze at the ground and stayed silent. He Ling Su grabbed Lu Shang's arm with both hands, and seeing that he had no plans to flee, her expression filled with worry. She tried to persuade him by saying that she would stay here to help him negotiate with the Chen family, asking him not to worry about the relationship she had with her mother, and even if she had to pay a price, she was willing to do so since this matter could still be resolved without fighting. But once again, Lu Sheng paid no attention to her and stood still, thinking silently. Seeing this, despair took control of her, she stood in front of him, placed her hands on his chest, closed her eyes, and began to cry, begging him to flee. While the poor He Lingsu was crying, Lu Sheng began to wipe away her tears with his hand, asking her not to worry since nothing bad was going to happen. Obviously these words did not work and far from calming down, she got angry. She forcefully hit Lu Sheng's chest with her fists, asking if he really didn't care about his own life, revealing that the Chen family was not going to let him go so easily. Our boy kept calm and explained that there was nothing to worry about since they only had a numerical advantage, and if they really dared to fight him, no one would be a match for him. He mentioned that she was the protagonist of this novel, so there was no way her backing would be defeated so easily. He began to observe them with a confident expression and with a smile said that the real show was about to begin now. He Lingsu stopped crying, raised her head, and her gaze fixed on him, somewhat surprised. Old Chen began to stare at Lu Sheng with a disdainful look, asking if he was the one who had caused a commotion at his banquet. He was furious since now his birthday celebration had been ruined. Lu Sheng paid no attention to Chen. He started approaching old Zhang He, extended his hand toward him, and greeted him with a smile, adding that it had been a long time. Upon hearing his voice, Zhang He snapped out of his trance and turned his attention to him, somewhat surprised. He began stroking his beard with his hand and, with an unexpected look, mentioned that he did not expect the culprit to be Lu Sheng. The truth was that the moment when he had killed a master and the tragic death of Lion Jaibai were still fresh in his memory, something difficult to forget. He turned his head towards Chen and with a serious expression advised him to let this go on his account. Chen's gaze was full of rage, he mentioned that today he was going to celebrate his 80th birthday, and Lu Sheng had intentionally come to cause trouble, and according to the rules, there was no reason to let this go. But just then, someone raised their hand, asking him that there was no need to do this, it was Lu Sheng who closed his eyes and with a confident smile said it was better to follow Chen's rules. Upon hearing this, He Ling Su's eyes filled with surprise and confusion. She couldn't believe that Lu Sheng was willing to fight against Chen. Everyone was shocked, and Chen's gaze, full of fury, fixed on Lu Sheng. Jiang He stopped stroking his beard and panicked upon seeing that Lu Sheng didn't even want to take advantage of the opportunity they were giving him, wondering what was happening to him. With a piercing and murderous gaze, Chen asked Lu Sheng if he was sure about his decision. Lu Sheng, who had his eyes closed, raised his fist, began touching his shoulder with his hand, and with a confident smile confirmed that he was sure. He even mocked them by saying that if they wanted to fight, they should do it now since he didn't have time to play with them. Far from getting angry, Chen calmed down. He turned his attention to Jiang He and with an uncertain expression asked for his opinion on this. Jiang He started observing Lu Sheng and mentioned that as vice president of the Martial Arts Association, he had intervened for Lu Sheng but he didn't want to accept the help, revealing that he wasn't going to lower himself further by asking for favors. Upon hearing this, Chen's gaze filled with fury. He began staring intently at Lu Sheng and while his body was surrounded by a golden aura, he decided to teach him a good lesson. Lu Sheng began to touch his neck and while his body was emitting a powerful blue energy, he prepared to fight. Just before the combat could begin, someone gave the military salute. It was the seven-star commander who was next to Chen. He gave the military salute to Commander Lu Sheng introducing himself as Du Linjun, general of the 5th Combat District of the Eastern Army. Upon hearing that Lu Sheng was a commander, Chen couldn't help but feel somewhat confused and his mind filled with many questions. Lu Sheng remained calm and with a serene expression thought that this was too coincidental since there was no way someone from the Eastern Army would appear right here. Du Linjin approached him, placed his hand on his chest, and with a sincere expression explained that they had not met before. In the grand tournament, Dong Sheng and he had joined forces but even so Lu Sheng had knocked them off the stage in one blow, asking if he did not remember him. Lu Sheng began to observe him and stayed silently thinking. He put his hand behind his head, closed his eyes, 
and with a smile mentioned that now he remembered him. But the truth was that he didn't remember anything since he had hit many people. Chen began to stroke his beard and ask General Du if he knew Lu Sheng. Du turned his head toward him and, with a serious expression, revealed that Lu Sheng was the brightest son of the Eastern Army, the King of Stars in the entire Eastern region. This time, in the military exercises of all armies, they were simply accompanying him. At the party, there were also other high-ranking military officers present who were shocked to hear that Lu Sheng was the brightest son of the army and was known as the King of Military Stars. Jiang He's gaze filled with confusion. He did not know how much time had passed since then. He could not believe that Lu Sheng had already reached master level and had become a level 8 master. He had even risen to the top as the strongest one, realizing that he had a dreamlike speed of progress. The military panicked upon learning that they were going to attack the king of the military stars, realizing that they were finished. Upon hearing this, old Chen began to show a forced smile, explaining that all of this had been a misunderstanding. Lu Sheng's gaze filled with disappointment. He wanted to put on a good show, but it no longer made sense to try anything. However, he then thought it was fine to leave things as they were and avoid the fight. The Chen family was just annoying, and they hadn't done anything serious enough to destroy them completely. Lu Sheng placed his hand on He Lingsu's shoulder and with a calm look decided it was time to withdraw, explaining that the climax had ended just before it began. Upon hearing this, her gaze filled with surprise, leaving her in shock. With a lost and sad look, she turned her back on everyone and began heading toward the exit alongside Lu Sheng. Seeing that her daughter was abandoning the Chen family, the mother panicked, and desperation took control of her as she begged her daughter to return to the family. He Lingsu paid no attention and with a sincere smile explained that Lu Sheng was right. False family ties meant nothing to her. For more than 20 years, she and her father had been living like this, and from now on she mentioned that they would continue just as well without the mother. Lu Sheng, who was walking beside her, remained silently listening. He Lingsu closed her eyes and, as she began to blush, started smiling, saying that before she had been too naive. Both left the Chen mansion, and Lu Sheng couldn't help but smile because that was the He Lingsu he knew. Lu Sheng stood next to her and, with a curious gaze, asked her what she thought of the plot he had prepared for her today, asking if she felt like the protagonist. She crossed her arms, closed her eyes, and replied that the protagonist was clearly him, thinking that surely by tomorrow half of the capital would know that the general of the Eastern District, Lu Sheng, had caused a great commotion at the Chen's banquet. A smile appeared on Lu Sheng's face. He began to walk away from her, closed his eyes, and with a happy smile revealed that this was exactly what he wanted to achieve. Upon knowing this, He Lingsu's gaze filled with surprise, leaving her somewhat confused, not knowing what was happening. This is the end of the video, if you guys want to see the next part, then don't forget to subscribe and like the video.